Ever since Donkey Kong hit arcades in 1981, the platformer has become an iconic video game genre. Nintendo, in particular, embraced 2D titles with gameplay revolving around running and jumping, with Super Mario Bros. becoming the most legendary platformer series of all time. In 1999, Masahiro Sakurai worked with Nintendo to create a unique hybrid of platform games and fighters, leading to Super Smash Bros, a fighting game where characters duke it out on a 2D plane with at least one main platform. Fast forwarding to 2019, Super Smash Bros Ultimate still maintains the fundamental aspects that make Smash a platform fighter. But despite knowing all of this history, many competitive players still don't completely understand how to actually play on platforms. In this video, we're going to give you guys all the info you need to buff your platform game. But first, don't forget to check out ProGuides.com for all of your essential competitive content, including our Play With Pros platform. Wait, there's a platform too? And our new pro course featuring the world's best MK Leo himself. Now, let's rock some platforms. So, first we need to understand the different types of platforms we're going to be dealing with. Fortunately, in competitive Smash Ultimate rule sets, there are only two types of platforms. The first is hard platforms. Hard platforms are what make up the main body of the stage and cannot be passed through from any side, although Lila doesn't seem like a big fan of this rule. Next are soft platforms. These are the platforms that you're going to find on stages like Battlefield and Pokemon Stadium 2. They can be passed through from the top, bottom, or the sides, and characters can stand on them as well. Most of the techniques and tactics we're going to be covering in this video deal with soft platforms, as the hard platform on legal tournament stages functions as little more than the ground beneath your feet. The first technique to talk about can be referred to as the landing platform drop, or Isaiah dropping in melee. Normally, when standing on a soft platform, you can drop through the platform simply by tapping down on the left stick. If you're in a window of lag, such as after landing on the platform with an aerial, holding down will give you a crouching animation instead of dropping through the platform. In Ultimate, you can still buffer a platform drop by tapping down a few frames before your lag ends. But to be more consistent and make it possible to drop facing the other direction, there's another method. As your lag is ending, buffer a walk in the direction you want to face by tilting the left stick forward or back with a slight downward diagonal to avoid dashing. Then as soon as your lag ends, rotate the stick downward to drop through the platform. This will take some practice to get the timing down for different aerials, but allows you to freely drop through a platform whenever you like, facing either direction, so you can use your preferred aerial as you drop. Dropping through platforms is very useful in general, as it gives you a way off of a platform that's faster than running off its edge, and mixes up your options. Mixing up your platform escapes is important because choosing the same option repeatedly, such as jumping, gets very predictable and thus very punishable. Running off of platforms with a falling aerial can be a useful tactic as well, but you don't have much room to vary your spacing this way, so it can be easy to bait and punish. The next platform technique we're going to talk about is sometimes referred to as platform ghosting or ghost dropping. Normally when you jump above a platform, you'll land on it when you drop down. Because of this, it can be difficult to use full hop aerial pressure on opponents who stay below the platform, treating it like an umbrella. Well, by holding down on the left stick, you'll never land on a platform unless you're in the middle of an animation. So, you can hold down while jumping above a platform and time your aerial right after you pass through it to hit the opponent underneath. This applies to fast falling too, but you don't need to fast fall in order to ghost a platform. These techniques can be a bit complex when it comes to simply working around a platform, but it's just as important to practice the most basic of techniques, fast falling into a platform. Because of the ghosting mechanic, fast falling and landing on a platform rather than passing through it can actually be a bit tricky. Make sure you flick down on the stick for the shortest moment possible. Fast falling onto platforms is useful for general movement as well as mix-ups like tomahawk grabs. 
If you've seen our video on defensive options in Smash, you'll know that the lag from directional air dodging makes wave dashing very impractical in Ultimate, but wave landing on platforms isn't quite the same. What's wave landing? Wave landing lets you land on a platform and slide in a desired direction by full hopping through the platform and directional air dodging into it. Try to air dodge as early as possible to get the smoothest wave land. Despite the lag, wave landing can trick your opponent as it quickly shifts your position, potentially baiting your opponent to respond. Ledge cancels aren't limited to soft platforms, but are most commonly performed on them. Certain special moves, usually teleport moves like Palutena's Warp, can be aimed towards the edge of a platform, resulting in the momentum of the move sliding the character off of the platform and canceling the landing lag. Each character capable of ledge cancels has specific setups to make the angles more consistent. Here are some examples. Perhaps the most unexplored platform technique present in Smash Ultimate is known as the No Impact Landing. This technique allows you to double jump in a precise timing window to land instantly on a platform, essentially canceling your double jump altogether. The No Impact Landing carries many of the benefits of wave landing into a platform in Melee, letting you quickly land and grab. For example, So far, this technique is only consistent for Simon and Richter, but we've seen clips that proves it's at least possible with other characters. This covers the most important platform techniques, but there are some useful things to understand about how platforms can aid your gameplay. Most notably, platforms offer an excellent means of extending combos vertically. Characters like Mario, Fox, and Joker can carry opponents significantly higher by landing on platforms in between hits and get much more damage or even take a stock. Since most soft platforms are very narrow in length, they make tech chasing very easy. If you force an opponent into a tech scenario on a battlefield platform, for example, they can typically only end up in two different places, making the guesswork a 50-50. Also, some characters have options that can cover the entire platform and reasonably punish any tech option. It's a good idea to explore both how your character can cover tech options on platforms and what methods your character has to put opponents in this position in the first place. We hope with this knowledge, you're going to be moving around platforms like Mario has since the 80s. And while you're at it, make sure to move your mouse or finger on over to that subscribe button and jump from there to the notification bell to keep up with all of our future uploads. Thank you.